Today's one of those days I really enjoy because I get to play with a new fire truck. This is one of a four truck order for Sheldon Community Fire and Rescue in Sheldon, Texas, just outside of Houston. So again, there are four of these beauties going into service here real soon. These are uh, Spartan Custom Chassis with a Darley Midship Mounted LDMBC rated at 1500 gallons per minute and this does have the 220 CFM compressed air foam system, the Auto Calf's compressed air foam system with a Foam Pro foam injection system and a, um, uh, like I said, a 220 CFM compressor that feeds up to uh, seven different CAFS discharges. So they have quite a few options for discharges to pick from when enhancing the water flow with some soap, some Class A foam, and, uh, and then using compressed air to propel that stream. So I'm going to give you a quick introduction of what these vehicles are all about. We got a little over a thousand gallon water tank. Uh, 30 gallon class A foam tank. This is an all copolymer rescue body with uh, lots of storage options which I'll be uh, showing you here next. As I was saying this is the uh, copolymer Darley, Darley body. This, uh, this Darley poly body features three roll-up door compartments on the left side another three roll-up doors on the right side and then a roll-up door in the uh, back of the vehicle as well. And here are those same three compartments with the roll-up doors opened. The slide-out trays extended on each of the floors of the front and the rear compartment and the pegboard style aluminum swing-out tray um, opened up on the middle compartment. We also have storage for four air bottles on this right side as well as the fuel fill. So here's that slide out tray, a couple of adjustable shelves, air bottle storage doors, the pegboard, the swing out tray, locks in the in, as well as the outer position. Another adjustable shelf, the light tower control, and then again another slide out tray here on the floor. You just need to release the latch, push it in, locks both in and out. So up top we got the Stinger 2.0 Elkhart Brass deck gun. We got a top cross lay with calves, a middle speed lay with calves, and then a two and a half inch lower speed lay with calves. The Darley Vision pump panel with all of the labeling embedded. All the graphics, all the color coding is all embedded right into the laminate material. It's a very, very special panel. It looks good and is very durable. A couple of lift and turn latches here to expose a lot of your gauges. Very nice tidy wiring. All stainless steel plumbing for long life and corrosion resistance. Got the ladders protruding into the pump compartment through a slide in tunnel in the back of the body which I'll be showing you here now. You'll notice that there are flow meters, combination pressure and flow on all of the discharges to help operate the compressed air foam system. Pressure is not really as much of a concern with CAFs. You want to know what your flow rates are of water and foam solution before you turn on your toggle switch. Each of these toggle switches, these are safety covers to turn on compressed air into those specific discharges. Anything that's not CAFs just has a regular, typical two and a half inch pressure gauge. 
So all four of your main discharges, the two on the left side here and the two on the right side, on the passenger side pump panel, are all plain water. Those are the discharges that are used to do your main maximum flow testing, like your UL and your recertification tests every year. Those are your high flowing discharges, where all of your other discharges here are for, for using compressed air foam to maximize each gallon. Now we're here at the back of the vehicle where you can see that roll-up door compartment I was referring to as well as the ladder tunnel just above it. And then we have a, a rear discharge back here as well as an arrow stick. Got three different dividers as well as a couple of slide-in compartments for storage. So behind the roll-up door you'll see we have a one inch booster reel with a Neidner Realtex type hose. This does have compressed air foam plumb to it to maximize the effectiveness of this smaller one inch discharge. As I had mentioned, we also have a hinged door here as well for your slide in ladders. We got some pike pole storage as well. We got a roof ladder up top as well as a folding attic ladder. And then a uh, 30 foot three section ladder that slides in here as well. Ten foot long suction hoses, six inch in diameter, one each side. Next we'll use these combination folding steps that have built in lights and this uh, step here to access the top of the vehicle to show you some unique storage compartments up top. We did also tuck a nice backup camera in underneath this intermediate step. All right, now we're up top. You can see we've got some nice storage cabinets built into the top of the vehicle here with uh, latches. There's LED 12 volt strip lighting up in here to uh, light up the interior of these cabinets quite nicely. Turtle tile flooring on the floor of these compartments. So for some of that, you know, stuff that's not often used, this is a nice place to have it on board the vehicle. Yet, uh, yet not having it taken up a lot of your space in your compartments down below. So for those things that you need once a year, or once every six months, this is a nice place to put that stuff. Some fire departments are also using this, these compartments to, uh, to store their dirty gear or any soiled gear rather than putting it back in the chassis cab for the ride home. They're throwing all their dirty gear in a compartment up top here and then disinfecting that compartment and and uh, when they get back to the station after removing all the dirty gear and getting it all laundered. So just uh, just food for thought. So again 1,030 gallons of water, 30 gallons of Class A foam tucked nicely up here in the front of the front of the hose bed. There is a uh, hose bed cover that attaches here and runs the, the center to cover up your hoses. Top of the speed layer, tops of the cross lay cover. We got a Wilbert night scan light tower here that's all 12 volt along with a protective shield. And then something that's kind of unique here, we have the exhaust. There's an, a, a vertical stack coming up here behind the cab with a special notched area for this exhaust. We'll talk more about that in a little bit, but this type of feature allows the fire department to, um, to deal with something that they experience from time to time, probably more often than the rest of the country, and that is high water. This, uh, this fire department deals with floods from time to time, 
and needs to be able to drive through, you know, a couple of feet of flood water once in a while. Before I turn the truck around and get the light over on the uh, passenger side, we'll show you a few cab features here. So we got a pull-out step below this rear exterior cab compartment. Since we have uh, some storage built in for some air packs in this rear cab exterior compartment. Inside the cab, we've got uh, you know your DEF fluid fill behind the door here. A couple of uh, rear forward-facing seats, HEPA filter above, some wireless SETCOM communications, headsets, helmet holders, and uh, an interior med cabinet that can be accessed both from inside the cab as well as the outside. We've got another cabinet here for behind the driver's seat that can only be accessed from outside for the for the uh, engineer's compartment, his storage gear, or any gear that he needs. Another SCBA seat in the front officer's seat. Here's that officer's storage cabinet I was talking about. Give you a quick overview of what the interior looks like here. Got a vista screen. We'll light that up here quick. Give you an idea of what a few of the screens look like. Pump shift, parking brake, heater controls. in the back of the cab. Checking out all the lights now and making sure everything's looking good and functional. Now we're over with some light on the passenger side or the right side of this vehicle. And we'll show you a little bit about what's going on up front on the front bumper as well as showing you the uh, passenger side uh, compartments as well as the passenger side pump panel. Up front here we've got fog lights and siren and air horns and a front storage compartment and a Q siren and a front inch and a half caps discharge. Quite a few things going on up here. So as I was saying, we've got a cue siren, we've got a siren speaker to each outside corner of the front bumper, front discharge with compressed air foam, and uh, this is where you're going to store that hose. So you can lay in all of your hose. There's a notch here cut on the end for pre-connecting it to that swivel. So one of the other unique features built into this vehicle is uh, behind these screw heads you can remove this panel, this louvered panel, and behind there is a slide-in element. It's a slide-in element similar to like what you'd find as a, like a furnace filter. It's your air intake. No longer do we have the days of having the, uh, the air filter mounted in front of the right front tire in behind the uh, officer's side door here. That air filter was known whenever driving through floodwaters to draw in water straight into your engine. So now the upper high air intake behind the grill, all of your air coming into the engine comes in behind this panel and allows you to drive through a couple of feet of water without sucking any air into your engine, any water into the 
into the engine. Uh, having the exhaust stack elevated also helps. Having the, uh, the transmission vent and the rear differential vent and the pump gear case vent, all of those uh, vents have been elevated up into the body so that uh, theoretically we can drive this thing around through some uh, some deeper flood waters without doing major detrimental damage to the vehicle itself. So we've put a lot of time and effort and thought into trying to protect this this investment and um, and help it last even when mother nature uh, dishes us up a dose of uh, a dose of water that we were not looking forward to having to contend with. All right, so now we're over on the uh, the passenger side or the right side of the vehicle. You can see we again basically just have a reverse image of of the uh, of the driver's side, the left side. On this side, we have a large diameter discharge to the rear of the panel. We've got a Foam Pro power fill system for pumping foam from the ground, from pails on the ground up into your foam tank. So firefighters don't need to climb up on top of the vehicle to pour foam into the foam tank. They can do it through a pumping system right here at the side pump panel. And here is the uh, right side of the vehicle opened up. Again, we got a slide out tray on the floor of both the front and the rear compartments. We've got an out and down tray mounted above the wheel well opening, above the rear axle. Four more SCBA air bottle storage compartments here on this right side, as well as a total of four adjustable shelves in uh, all three of these compartments. Rear compartment, two adjustable shelves, slide out tray, you got the out and down tray here and the over wheel well compartment with an adjustable shelf above. Slide out tray here on the floor of compartment four. And all of these compartments have LED strip lighting to light up the compartment nicely in all the different regions. Alright, beautiful rakes. Be some of the prettiest rigs we've uh, delivered here in the last few years. On behalf of Darley, I want to say thank you to the Sheldon Community Fire and Rescue Department in Harris County for putting your faith in us to build you four more Darley Caps pumpers. We know these will provide you many years of reliable service. If you should have any questions about these or any Darley fire apparatus, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. You can find more information at darley.com. You can call our toll-free number or you can email us at any of the below email addresses for some key representatives here at Darley that can answer questions for you. So again, my name is Troy Carruthers, and I want to thank you all for taking a few minutes to check out this vehicle. Have a great day. Well, it just wouldn't be right if I didn't uh, give you guys a quick demonstration. As the CAFS guy here for Darley, I've got to show off this compressed air foam system here a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and just open my tank to pump so when I turn on the master switch it's open. I'm going to crack my tank refill here just a little bit. Make sure all my drains are closed, all my switches are off. Let's go ahead and fire up this pump. Show you what this cap system can do to enhance a fire pump. Master switch, ignition switch, start button. Make sure you're in 
neutral. Make sure your parking brake is set. Not too tough. Once you're in neutral, swing the pump into the pump engaged position. Push drive. Four, four, okay to pump. We're locked up, we're in pump mode. That pump is spinning. Time to go play with the pump. Not too complicated, right? I'm gonna come back here, as I said, I've already got my tank to pump open. I've got my tank refill cracked. We got about a half a tank of water, which if I'm gonna be a smart aleck, I could say that's enough to put out a couple of house fires. And now we will uh, we'll get ready to we'll hit the preset button. We'll charge the front discharge with calves. We'll bring it open, maybe between the red and the yellow line here. Start charging that line. Hit the preset and hit the air. All right, calf's running. Got it set for a dry to medium foam right now. We'll fire this up and show you what caps looks like. I'm using a Akron Saberjet nozzle with a one and an eighth inch tip. a whopping 53 gallons a minute with 0.3 percent foam concentration and about 60 cubic feet per minute of air propelling that meager 53 gallons per minute of water giving you over 70 feet of reach I can continue giving it more and more water more and more foam and more air to have a tremendously powerful stream at much lower water flow rates than plain water. Now I'm going to bring the pressure down to 100. I'm going to put my flow right at the red line for dry foam. Leave my air switch on. My caps is matching my pressure. And now we'll show you the type of foam that only caps can make. How's that for shaving cream, huh? Class A foam. Point three percent foam concentration, meaning everything you see here 
is 99.7% water. 99.7% water enhanced with a small amount of soap and propelled with compressed air. The compressed air is the key. That's the magic that that uh, turns this soapy water solution into this froth. So now we've lathered, now we're going to rinse. And to rinse, all I do is turn off my foam. Now the foam system is off. I turn off my air, and now I'm just going to get plain water to flush out the hose, flush out the nozzle, and rinse off my cheap little winter beater. And now that the vehicle and the hose and everything is all rinsed out, all you need to shut the system down, close the discharge, you can hit the idle button, you can turn off the caps compressor. You can open the drain and depressurize that front discharge. And all we need to do is just shut the shut the pump off. And we just reverse the process. Never, ever, ever, ever touch that knob until you're in neutral. Once you're in neutral, and you see N, N, you see the speedometer drop down to zero, your drive line is no longer spinning, it's now perfectly safe to switch it back into road mode. Now the pump is in road mode, and you can pack up and drive home and Tell everybody about the fire you just knocked down with compressed air foam. The Darley Company here in 2021 is uh, proud to be delivering these four vehicles to the Sheldon Community Fire Department in Sheldon, Texas. If you're in that uh, Sheldon, Texas area, keep your eyes on the lookout for any one of four of these vehicles roaming the streets and protecting the people and the public and property in and around Sheldon, Texas.